This is Cougan Cassius for Apple TV in association with Macri Jim Marbella. We're at the final press conference here for Leeds Rumble, head of the Saturday night's live fights on Sky Sports. With me, I've got Steffi, Paul, and also Josh Wow. How are you? All right, good, Paul. All good? Yeah, excited, ready to go. Yeah. I thought Adam Smith was quite complimentary about you yeah. uh, in that. Um, well, saying you basically, you're never in a dull fight. Yeah, yeah, it's nice. I mean, obviously, I boxed on Sky. Never in a bad fight. <laughs> I boxed on Sky when I was, uh, I think I first boxed on Sky, I boxed Matthew Marsh, who was one of the British champion. I think I was 20 then, and that was for English style, not like eight years ago. So, obviously, I've seen Adam, he's always respected me, and that's his prize fight, uh, British titles. You know, they've just gone on. And, it's nice to hear somebody show respect like that, you know, from boxing for terms like Adam Smith is a big name, so it was, it was nice for that. Steffi, I mean, Josh has been in some big fights already. Um, yeah. Like I said, hasn't quite happened at that major title level for him yet. Uh, this is a, a big fight against Gamal for the Commonwealth. It's a, it's a very big fight. I mean, we've got full respect for Gamal. We, know, we all know the potential he's got, uh, but obviously he's a novice pro at the minute. Josh is a a flushed experienced pro and like Josh has just mentioned he has been fighting at high, the highest level at domestic level for the last eight years arguably world-class opponents when you're going on uh, Gavin McDonnell, Jazza Dickens, uh, Kid Gallard, Stewie Hall it's, it's big name yeah. after big name after big name and he's never been out of his depth but the difference is, uh, what Josh has never had in all these years is he's never had a trainer other than his dad. He's been with his dad since his, since we've been a, like well eight year old, and obviously due to his dad's illness, it's just limited to what Josh and like. I mean, I said it last time when we did an interview. Josh has basically done Rocky style training for the last ten years alone. Yeah, it, 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 yeah it was a big thing. I mean, we got pulled 12, 12 years ago, and uh, we, 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 we've 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 gone as far as we could go with me and me and my dad. I wanted to pack in, I'll be honest, because I've done 20 years with him, and I said, well, I've drawn for British Tile, I think, and he just, he just wanted me to give one chance with another trainer coming in and helping him out. Because, I mean, my dad's got spinal tubes, it's no, it's no thing, I mean, he's had it 12 years, and he's had seven operations. He's my hero, you know what I mean? And that's what it's, that's what it's about. And when it gets hard, no one's as hard as what he's going through. Mm. Um, people say, I'm tough, I'm. My dad's tough. Other people going through that illness and what, what they're doing. But my, dad, my dad's a really strong man. I mean, there's, there's, you, won't even, you don't even tell people he's, poor. he's that kind of man. He's a strong, proud man. Um, he, he, our family, like, 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 no, right? But we come out and he wanted me to do this. I've done it for him. I've listened to Steph Easy. He wanted me to everything he'd done. And, Honestly, we've got on like an house fight since day one, pal. Yeah, it's been it's been it's been, it's been, been good, pal. Yeah, and uh, it's, you know, then they just put fit. When people said to me about me being tough and I just fit things into perfect perspective. perspective. When when I come home and see my dad, I mean, he's in and out of hospital all the time. But he don't he don't moan. You know, he just gets on with it. He won't even tell you a boy if he saw you. That, that's kind of man he is. Mm. So that's the kind of family we are. So when it gets tough, I get going. When the goal we get gets to, just <laughs> gets good. We saved this for after the yeah, fight, yeah. Uh, Josh. Yeah. Um, but like I said, it, it could be that subtle change that you can make it into a positive change yeah. uh, for your career. Like I said, that's an unfortunate situation yeah. you've had. But the, like I said, the change could be. Yeah, it's like Josh mentioned earlier in his interview on on, uh, on the press conference that a change is uh, as good as a rest kind of thing. But what what Josh has never never kindly had is he's never had the one on one. He's never had. Uh, the understanding, it's like when, when we do, it's not trying something new. I mean, Josh, remember, like, it gets forgotten about. Josh was a very, uh, fought at the highest level in amateurs. He was paired up with Luke Campbell in, in England, set up, at, you know, he, he won national titles and everything. He only lost an handful of amateur fights out of 50 amateurs as a, as a you know, he turned pro at 18 year old. And, uh, you know, he's, he's very experienced, but like I said, that what he's done is they've done everything themselves. They've never had any help with any diet. He never drank water till he could. I couldn't believe it. I says, how much water are you drinking? He says, well, I have two or three cups of tea a day. <laughs> and this is, and so he's got, he's got to where like he's got. tea though, is there really? <laughs> I'll take your word for it. <laughs> he's got to where he's got by just single-handedly, just grafting it, Jim. And uh, I can honestly say that there's probably an handful of fighters that's got his natural fitness. McDonald twins are a one pair. And, and you know, the, the, the maintenance of an high, high intensity, uh, work rate that he can set but Josh has like I say he's done everything uh, single-handedly and they all expect this same old Josh Well that's going to come out 
head on chest, boom, boom, boom. Yeah, back up, right. Steph, he's just running out of card, go on. So they all, they all expect this uh, one-dimensional Josh Whale, head on the chest, working away, boom, boom, boom. But basically, the model of the story is there's a lot more to his armoury, like I say, you don't get that uh, success of the amateurs by carrying off like he has been, but Josh has been doing things uh, just stuck in his ways, basically, just stuck, wanting, you know, he's that much of an hard man and that he wants to fight that much. He just wants to... You know, he's been pressing it too much, but remember, Josh has not been with me just for this fight, he's been with me for the last seven months now. Mm. He's had two fights, two wins since he's been with me. Uh, so this is his third fight. Seven months is a long time, it's not just it's not just yeah. for this fight. We have we have been working very hard on what we're going to do. And there'll, there'll be some uh, more to his armoury, and you know, them bookies that have been giving 12 to 1 on us is uh, might just end up making us rich men so <laughs> so yeah but we know we know it's an hard fight i've got so much respect for the r5 brothers you know the great talents and everything but i just believe there's just something there's just something i can feel it, it could well be josh's day on saturday night all right well listen not long to find out got the way in tomorrow and then saturday night it's on so yeah. best of luck thank you and uh, we'll catch up with you after the fight thanks mate cheers all right cheers. josh well, yeah, steffi ball thank you very much